This video from Computex 2018 is brought to you by LastPass. Try LastPass for free today using the link in the video description. This year, as far as I knew coming into this, Intel wasn't supposed to have any new CPU products on display. And yet, there's the commemorative like 40 year anniversary of the original 8086 CPU that we're gonna actually, we, we found one here on the floor. We're gonna go check that out later. That thing launched, also they're giving away 8,086 of them, just freaking crazy. Maybe we'll link the details to that down below. And then we swung by the ROG booth again, and this was not here yesterday. So they're calling this ROG Dominix, Dominus, Dominus, 16 phase ROG concept motherboard with some kind of classified CPU in it. And I have gone out of my way to ask all of the ASUS people here as little as possible, because as soon as they tell me anything about this, I'm gonna be like honor bound to not say anything because Intel is being extremely tight lipped about what's going on in here. And I have seen some pretty, um, um, dumb's not the word I'm looking for, but some pretty unlikely speculation about what exactly is going on here. So first of all, let's bring up, so they're letting us run Cinebench. This is, this is freaking awesome. They're letting us run Cinebench. So we've got a score from last time, 6,000 points. We can't bring up CPU Z, but we're allowed to run Cinebench. So let's see if we can count how many, oh crap. Okay, it's gonna be pretty hard for us to count how many cores it has, um, which pretty much tells me everything that I need to know because a lot of people wouldn't recognize this socket, but I've actually been working on a six video editors, one CPU project for a while. So I've got ASUS's dual LGA3647 socket, WS SageBoard, and uh, it's got a socket that looks an awful lot like that. Now we know Intel isn't launching any new CPU architectures right now, so we can speculate that this is probably based on the same socket and, uh, and a similar CPU to the 28 core max chips that I've been running for that project. We also know that because there's six memory slots, it is either triple channel, which would be a total blast from the past, or it is six channel memory, which again would suggest that this is going to be very similar to Intel's server grade Xeon platform. Now, I was a little bit critical of Xeon W because as far as we could tell, it's basically a Core i9 with ECC memory tacked onto it for a few hundred extra dollars. And Intel didn't seem like they were gonna be supporting the high, the very high end workstation with these server only chips. Is something like that gonna happen? Well, based on that the bottom third or so of this board seems to be recycled from the Sage, I would say that could happen. And based on their, um, uh, their concept grade 16 phase power delivery system up here, I would say that they are probably going to allow overclocking which is incredibly exciting. Okay, so the one thing that they'll tell us about this, other than that it's 16 phase and that it's running some kind of classified CPU, is that this power delivery setup up here, check this out, you got two 24 pins in, there's one over there, there's one down here, and then I can't actually find them all, but it would appear as though there are, yeah, here they are, one, two, three, four, five, six a combination of four eight pins and two six pins that appear to be designed to power the CPU socket alone. Over here, there's no VRM. This is just more heat sink with more fans, six fans. And this thing can provide up to 2,000 watts of power, like 2,100 watts or something like that. Okay, so to put that in context, the 18 core Extreme Edition Core i9 can suck back about 500 watts underwater or about 1,000 under liquid nitrogen. So I wouldn't be surprised if they were building this thing for liquid nitrogen, which might tell us that if this is a 28 core CPU and we were to overclock it to, I don't know, let's say four point something high, five gigahertz, who knows? It could pull as much as 1,000 watts of power. That is like, that's like Threadripper, what Threadripper?
And here it is, where the one and only Durade Hour, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Durade Hour? No, I'm just kidding. It's, D D Der Bauer has got an 8086K running on, I don't know, some kind of motherboard. It's covered in like automotive shop cloth and a liquid nitrogen pot. Anyway, the point is they've got it running at uh, 7.1 gigahertz at the moment. And we've got a shot of CPU-Z up here, which will tell us a totally unrealistic speed that you might get it running at if you're basically him and nobody else. It also tells us it's six cores, 12 threads. So basically an 8700K. And um, unfortunately, that's pretty much all there is to it. From his testing, he figures it's about as good as a good 8700K, not like super special bind or anything like that. And um, you do get a special badge in CPU-Z. It says 40th anniversary. But other than that, this is mostly meant to be a commemorative SKU, and any rumors about uh, soldered IHS or anything like that seem to have been um, exaggerated. So I guess that's pretty much it for random Intel CPU launches we didn't see coming. Thanks to LastPass for making our coverage of Computex 2018 possible this year. LastPass lets you store all your passwords securely in your account so that when you're traveling or using a new machine or just logging into something that you haven't used in a while, you don't have to go digging through uh, you know, paper notes somewhere or heaven forbid, you don't have to reuse passwords because it can automatically generate them for you when you create your accounts. LastPass also stores a lot more than just passwords. You can keep credit card numbers, uh, passport numbers for when you want to book a flight. You can store care card numbers for yourself or your kids, something you might need in an emergency, but don't necessarily want to carry around with you in a physical wallet, something that can be lost. And the best part is you don't have to take my word for it. You can try LastPass for free at the link in the video description. So don't miss any of our Computex 2018 coverage, guys. We will see you at the next booth. Whoa, whoa. Oh, we're gonna give them, we're gonna make them sick, Dennis. <laughs>